10 recent sightings of the Megalodon on camera. Uh, basically, the, the typical title, if you just combined all of the things that we expect to see in these crappy YouTube titles, uh, this is exactly what you would get. Uh, this is basically what an AI would combine it into. It's a newer video, so I'm very excited for it. And particularly excited because, to contrast what I expect is going to be a very, very terrible video, we're going to watch an actually scientifically based Megalodon video, a documentary, about halfway through on Curiosity Stream, who sponsored this video. So we're going to watch some really crappy Megalodon stuff, and then some really good Megalodon stuff, and con contrast them because <laughs> I think that'll be a very funny way to juxtaposition the uh, terrible things that we see in this. Let's begin. <laughs> Just already a scene from an insane movie. Megalodons are really completely extinct. While well, scientists and theorists are guessing, more and more videos and photos are appearing on the Greenland shark, bull shark, prove that megalodons frilled are shark, live and real. In this episode, I'll crazy show you Photoshop Coast Guard footage. I do want to ask, why is it always that when people talk about the Meg could still be alive? I think it's just because they have to support their theory is that they always say that it's like a few individuals like, oh, well, there must only be a couple left, you know, like one to ten or one to five or something like that. Like, how would they find each other? How would they reproduce? Like, do you understand the gestation period of sharks? This is a difficult thing. I mean, I guess there's part of the Genesis, but like. These are not easy things to do. Um, so it always amazes me that people think that there's like a, a surviving group that somehow coexists as a, <laughs> they use Google Seas, yeah. Some, they use Bing Maps to find each other. Um, and yeah, they'd be heavily inbred. I mean, it's just, to have a surviving population, you need more than like one to five individuals, unless they think that there was eventually one. I think they just say that because if there were more individuals, we would have seen them. So it's kind of crazy how they kind of disprove themselves. New megalodons that were caught on camera. Smart pizza. The Mariana Trench Giant. All right. Japanese researchers decided to conduct a daring experiment in a bay near the Mariana Trench. A the bay near the Mariana. It's not that near the Mariana Trench. In the world ocean. That is the deep hole the blue hole that is not the mariana trench okay yeah yeah we're, having, we're starting to lower good a large container of bait suddenly these sharks scattered and a giant shark of unbelievable size okay so this is literally the size of like a crab trap so this is not unbelievable size it's a pacific sleeper shark or greenland shark we've seen it a million times people always exaggerate how absurd the size must have been because of the cage size, you are assuming that this cage is like a big size cage. This is a, literally a crab trap. It's not that big of a shark. Suddenly, the sharks scattered. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the crab trap where you lower them and once they land on the bottom, the sides fall out so things can crawl in. It swam up precisely to the prey. Greenland sharks get absurdly old. I don't know. I don't know the exact age, but like. There are, Greenland, there are things you can do where you can take like a Greenland shark and look at its eyelids and the layers on its eyelids, um, which show like growth years, like rings in a tree. But you can use the rings in its eyelid to see when the nuclear bombs were set off, uh, when the atomic bomb was set up, because it'll show like an extra thick ring in the eyelid of some Greenland sharks. That's how old they are. The one and a half you can literally look at historical events in them. The body of the sea goliath was more than 60 meters long. What could nope. it be? If that's like a regular sized crab trap, you're looking at like Science 20, mid 20s. An they got max. Guesses, violent and extremely aggressive creature that local fishermen have nicknamed the black demon. Oh, I think we've heard the this one before. The shark described as resembling a great white shark. Okay, there you go. You've instantly disproved yourself. I love when they do that. It's so easy. The megalodon didn't look like a great white. So if you start off with, it looks like a great white. Guess what? It's a great white. <laughs> looks like a great white, acts like a great white. It's a great white. With a black color. The, or white sharks. I think we're not supposed to call them great white anymore. I heard that. And we're supposed to call them white sharks now, which I did not know. But I'm interested in why that is. Maybe because great white makes them sound scarier than they are? I don't know. The most detailed evidence is usually blamed by skeptics on whale sharks, which are known for being larger than great white sharks, reaching True. a length of 12 meters. I don't know how you could seven. ever mistake a slow moving filter feeder for a great white, but you do you, I guess. Well, dozens of tons. However, it's very problematic to confuse the black demon with a whale shark. It's just a bull shark the in a pond. Literally, the video of that is called Bull Shark in Pond. Like the YouTube video. You can find it on YouTube by like searching Bull Shark in Pond. Behavior. 
Is it possible to confuse such a shark with a bloodthirsty black demon? No. The locals say that it's impossible. <laughs> what are these the meme clips? The demon referred to a very Oh, I love this movie. Remember when we watched a video about this movie? It was so bad. Could it be <laughs> Megalodon? The fucking Vin Diesel movie. <laughs> I've not the seen this one. The guy also claims that he actually encountered a real Megalodon off the coast of Canada. That just kind of looks well, like a white shark, except the fin's a little weird. Indeed, indeed the dorsal fin's a little a weird. Shark. The shark never appears on the surface, so we can't reliably determine the species. Or the size, or anything about it. So why could you possibly claim that it could be a megalodon? How do you watch a video of just a random shark not even surfacing and claim that it must be a meg? Watch the video, advise the author not to be afraid. A species known as the basking shark could have swam past him. Sure. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense for the dorsal fin, a basking shark. Sharks. Previously, marine biologists denied that the bottom sharks can reach such impressive size. It turns out that those who argue that huge sharks cannot be found at great depths and near the bottom were also wrong, weren't they? Does this No. Bun no six go shark is not even remotely close to, to the size of a megalodon. This giant underwater shark that they're using for evidence here is a blunt nose six kill, which we think Max is out at like 20 feet. It's been changed a couple times in recent years, but it's like 20 feet or so. And that's like absurdly large blunt nose six kill. So even the small end of the Megalodon scale is more than double that. There's like a clear lack of understanding of how important a jump in size that much matters in deep water. Like a more than doubling in size in deep high pressure water is absolutely absurd. Those are not comparable. So if you actually wanted to learn stuff like that, like I'm able to just listen to that and know that that's absurdly stupid because I have the background knowledge. So if you want to be able to recognize when, you know, these videos are totally making things up, there's this documentary, which is what I actually watched to study. And I know it sounds crazy to say to study for react videos, but it's a documentary about the Megalodon, which is on curiosity stream, which basically just takes you through all of the like actual factual information that we have uh, about the Megalodon. It's only 17 minutes long. And then you can basically recognize all of the BS that these videos are spouting. Just everything that's totally made up becomes very obvious because you actually know what you're talking about. So you can watch this, which from curiosity stream has sponsored this video. They have like a ton of documentaries and shows and everything. Um, but this particular documentary I watched yesterday and now I feel like more confident watching these dumb videos because I watch this and I'm like, okay, they're comparing a 20 foot blunt nose six scale to like a, you know, minimum megalodon is in like the 40 foot. So you're not, you're not even comparing remotely comparable sizes. Uh, so actually having my knowledge from a reliable source makes me more confident in just calling out this dumb stuff. Um, so if you want to check out curiosity stream and support me, they have the link. It's curiositystream.avnj. Uh, and you get access to like the entire catalog of stuff they have, which is an absurd amount of stuff for $15 a year. So you could just, literally pay the 15 bucks have for an entire year to look at all this stuff and to actually know what you're talking about which i think is very valuable when you're watching these because yeah you can watch these and sort of like semi call out what like sounds dumb but being able to actually listen to something and be like no actually factually this is wrong it feels so good <laughs> mean that a giant that was shot by satellite sure also learn about one of the most convincing proofs that megalodon still not even huge. remotely convincing just cgi but i'm excited to see how he presents them robot and shark given the size of the robot and the approximate distance between <laughs> okay just a fin in the darkness and the camera and the owner of the fin must be a megalodon just two fins passing by in the darkness with absolutely no sense of perspective or size or anything must be a megalodon. It turns out that the shark must be at least 10 meters long. Could it be megalodon? How? 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 How do you get to that measurement? How can you tell the distance? Even if you know the exact like width of this arm, how can you exactly tell the distance of how far that there, there's no way of, yeah, there's no way of scaling that. It's so it's dumb. Because these ancient sharks were about 10 to 15 meters long. That's also wrong. Boom. Once again, the, the Curiosity Stream documentary that I watched. I know the actual length of Megalodons. That was a low estimate, which you usually don't see in these dumb videos. That was a low estimate. Close up shot. When this picture caught by Google Earth first appeared on the Internet, everyone became curious. Especially Did considering that the ancient predator was found near one of the most popular tourist islands in the Bahamas. <laughs> I think tourists vacationing in the Bahamas should be more careful. They contradict no the bahamas let me see this photo again yeah i mean it looks like the exact same thing we've seen a million times it also has the pattern of a tiger shark 
we have no sense of scale either so it probably it could just be a normal tiger shark or it could be a tiger shark that was shrunk and but i mean come on man appeared on the internet everyone why does every evidence have to be so tiny and blurry and just bad Several nations received very contradictory and strange readings from their space satellites oh, if great space if it wasn't low enough quality taking one from earth now let's take a photo from space observers are to be believed giant living creatures were spotted off the coast of Papua New Guinea. What, what is this what is this what am i supposed to do with this is this the rock? Isn't this the one that was like a rock near Antarctica that they said was a megalodon? Scientists could not believe their eyes. Judging by the way the mysterious objects were moving, it was obvious that these were living creatures. What? But their size was so enormous. Was that supposed to be real? Objects were moving, it was obvious. This is like animated in Photoshop. The tail is not even going back and forth. How is it propelling itself through the water? That makes no sense. That's like a person standing still on land like this and just advancing forward. <laughs> These were living creatures, but at the same time, they were several times bigger. He actually, if, this is supposed to be real. Of a great white shark it was so bad. Five or six meters that might be the worst evidence I've ever seen. That uh, it might actually be the worst evidence I've ever seen. Just a still image slowly being dragged through the water. Not the, the fins not going. Do they realize how viscous water is? How hard it is to move through water? Right. Then here we're talking about a body length of over 16 meters. How? The version How'd you get whales there? also falls away. The creature observed prefer to hide deep underwater, which cetaceans do not do. That's not true. There are deep diving whales. Also, it doesn't prefer to hide deep down and underwater. Another megalodon fact from the Curiosity Stream documentary. Surface, warm water. Pretty obvious just based on fossil records. Megalodon in Brazil. This video was taken by an Classic. Isn't this a different one every time? It's been Brazil. It's been a bunch of South America. It's always a South American country, but it's been a different South American country every time. Absolutely absurd. And it's just like a CGI video of something passing underwater or a whale shark or something like that. There's a bunch of different theories. It's one of the most unobvious and yet convincing evidence of the Megalodon existence in this episode. When the unobvious. video first appeared on the internet, no one it's noticed so low quality. suspicious about it. Fast. I can't wait till there's one high quality one that doesn't look like total CGI. By but yeah, this is one of the best done fakes that I've seen. The coordinated work of the rescuers, According to estimates of users who have reviewed this footage many times, the body of the creature must be at least 18 meters long. Reviewed the footage many times. Like what, played the three second clip over and over again? How are you getting a size measurement? Could it be <sighs> the mystery? <laughs> they didn't see it. Yeah, it's also crazy that the rescuers didn't see a giant shark in the water. Almost like it was added in post. Mysterious Megalodon? In the internet, you can find a lot of information that the official science failed miserably. <laughs> What does that have to do with anything? Science has failed miserably. Show dude slipping into a mud puddle. Some conspiracy minds oh, is that true? even claim that ichthyologists hide the truth from us on purpose. Fuck, he's on to me. Ichthyologists hide the truth. I'm actually just a government puppet spreading lies about the Megalodon so that people believe that he's gone. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're actually equipping them with uh, guns and sonar to fight the Russians. I'm sorry I had to keep this from you. Could it be that real megalodons still roam the world oceans? Rip that seal. Damn. Could it be that real megalodons still roam the I mean, I guess the seal escaped, hopefully, but damn. As far as I'm damn. concerned, we shouldn't completely dismiss this version. Oh, well. No I'm going to go ahead and say he did not it. escape. Damn, look at how at cool same, sharks same, are. Sir. Look at how majestic that is. Why would you make you up a fake version. megalodon when this no actually matter, exists? How crazy when great whites are actually out there doing so. this shit. At the so time, cool. So, that's all, guys. Wow, thank you for sharing a smart pizza. I got recommended this. Oh my god, they only have 16,000 subs. They're literally, and it has 400,000 views. How does a tiny channel with like no views manage to do this? I'm so annoyed. Literally, that's how you blow up on YouTube. People who say YouTube is pure luck make shitty uh, videos like that and it no longer becomes pure luck.